Hello guys, what's up? This is Kong and today I'm going to be doing another anime review. Today I'm going to be reviewing Megalobox uh, Season 1 Episode 7 and Episode 8. Mainly I'm going to talk about Episode 8. The reason I didn't talk about uh, Episode 7 because there isn't much to talk about Episode 7. But Episode 8 is really, 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 um, I want to also say critical to to the story, to the, the series, basically. So basically what happened in episode 7, I'm just going to talk a little bit about it, is that uh, Shirato is, um, I guess, the owner's, uh, her brother. And he have, um, you know, developed this uh, gear. He's, a, I guess you can say, uh, an inventor. Uh, and the, the idea that, I guess, what... What is really happening is a a uh, a power move basically. It's a it's a it's a, a battle for uh, control of the company. So basically, the owner who owns Megalonia, uh, Megalonia, uh, she is the, I guess you can say the president and maybe the CEO and owner of the 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 organization. And her brother does not have any any say or any ownership of the company and this is why he want to you know he want to beat her at her own game and he want to buy I want to say almost buy out the board and so then he in turn can for her, vote her out of the company and that's what I think is really going on it's a it's a uh, political move and it's also a um, uh, employment move to take the company and to take position. So that's what she's doing. So in related to Joe, he was Shirato day was he forced uh, them to uh, forfeit the fight because he know that they they um, forced the uh, citizenship and if they don't forfeit the fight with him. He's gonna go public and he's there the public gonna know that they're you know they Joe's a fraud, he's not a genuine uh, article or genuine boxer. So Joe's partner, Mr. Nabu, you know, punched uh, Joe in the side to stop him. Joe doesn't know that because he Joe is is a fighter. He d doesn't think about the bigger picture or the the uh, uh, the the reason behind certain action. So that's what happened in episode seven. Episode eight is basically the biggest thing I found out is that, at least I understand, is that the uh, the biggest chink in the armor of uh, created by Shirato is that the. The armor that Shirato designed or developed or had hired an engineer to build this gear for him is that this gear detects electrical movement or electrical uh, um, flow in the opponent's gear. And the, the reason, and this is uh, great if you're fighting an opponent with a, a mechanical gear too but it is weak and it is flaw against fighting a boxer who does not have any gear who is just fighting on pure training pure experience uh, pure um, of learning the situation so in turn it make the gear useless it make the boxer have to really fight with his experience, have to use his his knowledge of boxing fundamentals and an experience in situation or uh, situational reading the situation. So that's why we found out as the audience is that this is why Mr. Not Mr. Toronto didn't want to fight Joe it is because. The the uh, the gear is not designed to detect, uh, uh, you know, boxing with no gears. 
So I was like, wow, that's a really great writing, really great, a uh, subtle um, development for Metanabu. He's able to understand uh, the weakness in the armor. So I thought that was also really great. I'm like, wow, this is why Shirato didn't do it. Didn't want it. He wanted, you know, Joe to forfeit because that way he could just be, you know, he he's able to get two things done in one stride. Get rid of Joe and move on to the next round of uh, the the boxing match. So once Mr. Nabu said, hey, he went in and talked to the owner and said, hey, you know, we know this, this, is this, if we're your brother, and he's like, if you're not going to do this, I'm just going to drag everybody down with me. And I thought that was really, 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 really uh, uh, smart of Mr. Manabu is because in order to make things go the way you want, you go, we want, you have to grab everybody down with you. Uh, that way you can push the button of certain individual to get them to do one certain thing. And one thing about Joe is that Joe is one of those kind of guys who doesn't like to give up. He keep trying. He actually goes to the ceremony and say, hey, I want this fight. I'm a mother. I'm a genuine boxer. I'm a genuine, you know, uh, competitor. And... So which the owner did with the owner, you know, rip it in half, gave one half to Shirato, then one half to Joe. And I was so glad that that happened because now I really want to see how the fight's going to go between Shirato and Joe because we're going to have to see how Shirato, uh, 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 you know, read the situation, how he's going to fight without his gear, you know, because his gear is designed to detect uh, mechanical, uh, electrical movement in the opponent's gear. But now that Joe doesn't have any mechanical gear, so he really have to think, you know, how to beat Joe. And in turn, Joe have to think about how to obviously de defeat uh, Shirato. And I thought that was really, really, really great because I personally enjoy watching an underdog going up against the top dog with, you know, a lot of money and throwing at their, their training, their technologies. It's just nice to see underdog going up against the top dog and to fight, especially in boxing and mostly in most sports. And we, I love that kind of uh, story. It's just really interesting. Now I'm trying to think of other things to, uh, to mention. I think that's about it for this episode 8 of Megalobox Season 1, Episode 8 Review. So again guys, please like, thumbs up, share, subscribe, and browse my YouTube channels. Alright, and also press that bell button to help me and help you. It's a, a two-way street. We help each other, alright? And most importantly, I want to say thank you so much for your time and effort to watching my anime review. Take care guys. Bye bye.